In this video, I'm going to show you channels 3 through channel 6 using the GT5 transmitter. Alright, so let's take a look at these 6 channels. Channel 3 is right here in the handle, and it's just a simple 2 position switch. You know, it's one way or the other. Channel 4 is on the lever right here. As you can see, it moves. Pretty simple. This is a 3 position switch, and if you have a slow winch, you can actually make this work for you, as in in, hold, and out. Pretty simple right there. Channel 5 is right up here on this knob. You can see channel 5 move a little bit. And channel 6 is right here on the other knob. So all the channels on this radio are really easy to get to. Obviously channel 1 and channel 2. But this is a very simple radio to set up and figure out what channel does what. Not too bad at all. As you're setting up for a TRX-4 or anything, say anything at all, and you want to adjust your EPA, EPA is real simple. Simply go over, click on it, and you can click on any channel you want. You got EPA adjustments on all of them. Just simply click there. And then all you got to do is move whatever it is, whether it's a steering servo, throttle, or whatever. You can adjust it by simply going to different sides. There we go. To the right, you got this side. We'll scroll it down to 90. And then we'll scroll, well, go to the other side. Scroll down to about 84. Then push. At that point, they're all set. And you can take a look at your settings. And it works the same way with any channel. Say you're going down to channel, let's go to channel 3. See the little arrow down there? Give that a push. And there. And also, as you just heard the servo, you can actually watch the servo move. You can actually see how far the servo is going. So, let's see it. There you go. See it moving? That way you can physically set everything nice and easy. Really nice deal on this. Not a problem at all. Give it a click and that's your endpoints. It works the same way on all your channels. Like channel four, you just want to flip this and you can check your different sides. So nice, simple, easy, and straightforward. Now, most crawlers do not need the uh, gyro steering assist. You just don't need it. However, if you want to get crazy and try to water skip your vehicle, you know, I've done that once or twice, and you really want something to go fast, the ABC absolutely works. With all eight channels. So, with that on, you should be able to set your gyro to actually keep your vehicle on its tires. The biggest issue with the uh, with the cars that we have, like the scalers and going fast, are the locked differentials. Now, when the differentials are locked, a tire comes up, the differential can't put that tire back down by transferring power to the tire with no traction. So, you end up in a spectacular cartwheel. But the gyro may actually can fix that and I may actually have to give that a try in another video thanks for watching guys